Welcome back to our video roundup. I'm Caroline Williams and I'm going to take you through our favourite science videos of the past week. First we have a giant leap for robot kind. Sandrine Kerstemont tells us more. Like a grasshopper, the robot's legs have two segments attached by a knee joint. By adjusting the angle, the robot can be made to jump either higher or further forward. It can reach an impressive altitude of 27 times its own height. That's higher than any robot has reached before. The researchers think that groups of these small robots could be used to search for survivors in a disaster area or even to explore other planets. For small robots, being able to hop like a grasshopper is a big advantage on rough terrains. A small robot that walks or has wheels might struggle to climb over rocks, but the grasshopper robot can simply jump over. Once the researchers finish tweaking the design, the robot should be able to land on its feet. It may also be able to direct itself and communicate with other robotic grasshoppers. Although most insects have two wings, dragonflies have four. So is it a case of two wings good and four wings bad? Previous studies have suggested that four wings are less efficient than two. So scientists decided to investigate by using a robotic dragonfly. By making the front and back wings flap at different times, they could see how the dragonfly's flight was affected. In this scenario, the wing timing was very wasteful. You can see the fluid flying left and right, which uses a lot of energy and doesn't provide much support for the robot in the air. But the wing timings in this trial were much more effective. The dragonfly pushes the air downward, which is much more efficient. The researchers found that if two pairs of wings flapped at the right time, a dragonfly could accelerate better than if it only had two wings. In some cases, the lower wings could also reduce wasted energy. Finally, we look at a clever new car that can prepare itself for collisions. This footage was taken when European engineers crash-tested the system back in March. Radar and cameras on the car's back window look out for impacts coming from the sides. Then, 230 milliseconds before a collision, the system will automatically deploy a reinforcing metal bar inside the car. Although the crash is still dramatic, the barrier would have penetrated 10 centimetres further if the bar hadn't been in place. That's all for now, but there are plenty more science and technology stories on our website. You can check out our video roundup of animals with human abilities, or find out if pandas could have predicted the latest earthquake in China. Bye for now!